Hi everyone, welcome to Royal Palace Online Classes. Today I am going to discuss the next chapter after current electricity, moving charges and magnetism. This is for theory students. So in this chapter we are going to study the relationship between magnetic field and electric field. There were many investigations done to know about uh, the relationship between magnetic field and electric field, but it was in 1880, sorry 1820, not 1880, it is 1820, a scientist called Eisted first time identified the relationship between electric field and magnetic field. So what happens here is, he accidentally placed a compass needle, a compass needle near a wire carrying current. So for this wire, you can connect one key and one battery or one cell. Once you pass current, this needle starts getting deflected. Then he started thinking that uh, a magnet should deflect the magnet because you studied in uh, electric charges and fields, a charge, a charge particle will uh, repel another static charge particle or it may attract. And in gravitation you have studied a mass M will attract another mass M. That is every body which is having mass as, they, as a property to attract. Here a charge is attracting or repelling another charge. But this is a wire having current and this is a magnetic needle. Then why whenever you pass current, then why this magnetic needle is getting deflected? Then he started thinking. Then if you go to the magnetism, if you take a magnet, if you take a magnet, this magnet will attract another magnet or it may attract an iron piece. If iron piece is kept near the magnet, it will attract. But uh, here there is a wire, but it is causing deflection in a magnetic needle. What may be the reason? Then he started thinking with this small experiment or with this small accident which has occurred to him, that means which he has done. Accidentally placed it and he has observed most of the inventions and discoveries are accidental only. So accidentally he has seen this magnetic needle started deflected, then he started thinking about uh, why it is getting deflected. Then he has done many experiments on this. He increased the current strength, deflection increased. When he reverses the current direction, deflection is in opposite direction. So many things he has investigated. And finally, he told that a current carrying conductor is a source of magnetic field. A current carrying conductor is a source of magnetic field. There is some relationship between electric field and magnetic field. Electric field and magnetic field, they have some relation. Time variation of electric field produces magnetic field. A current carrying wire acts like a magnet. A time variation of electric, <coughs> electric field produces magnetic field and time variation of magnetic field will produce electric field. That will see in electromagnetic induction. One more thing, suppose if there is a wire, you can consider this example also, there is a wire carrying current. If I keep a charge Q at rest nearer to this wire, if I keep a charge Q nearer to this wire, this charge will not experience any force as it is at rest and it is not going to experience any force. The charge of a conductor is always equal to, net charge of a conductor is always equal to zero. Conductor contains electrons moving in the, in the direction opposite to the direction of current. But what is the net charge of the conductor? Net charge of the conductor is always equal to zero. Now what we can do next time, if I project one, a, one positive charge particle like this, maybe like alpha particle or any positive charge particle, if I project adjacent to the wire, if I project this positive charge particle, what happens? This positive charge particle starts getting attracted towards this wire. Starts getting attracted towards this wire. <coughs> that means this current carrying conductor should act. Current carrying conductor is attracting the moving charges. So that means moving charge. Moving charge and current carrying conductor both are producing magnetic fields. There is some force acting on this. 
this moving charge is present in the <coughs> magnetic field of a wire because this wire gives a magnetic field and this moving charge when it is moving inside the magnetic field it is experiencing a force that means moving charges are the sources of magnetic field when charge is moving inside the conductor the current carrying conductor acts like a magnet so that is what the difference what that is the, what the relationship between magnetic field and electric field time variation of electric field produces magnetic field time variation of magnetic field will produce electric field that will see in electromagnetic induction so this uh, total topics comes under electromagnetics where we will study the relationship between electric field and magnetic field so how we got electromagnetism is because of the person called oyster he introduced uh, uh, when current carrying conductor is moving there is a magnetic deflection then in which direction in which direction you will get this magnetic field in which direction you will get this magnetic field suppose there is a wire on the plane of the board like this carrying current in this direction to find the direction of magnetic field there is right hand rule there is right hand thumb rule right hand rule or right hand thumb rule we can take this as right hand thumb rule or right hand rule you have to <coughs> hold the conductor in such a way that thumb is pointing towards the direction of current and the curled fingers the curled fingers will give the direction of magnetic field suppose if you take uh, this as a this has a wire you assume this has a wire carrying current if current is going from top to sorry bottom to top like this there is this is considered this has a wire current is moving from bottom to top around this uh, wire there will be magnetic field lines around this wire magnetic field will be there that means if a if a magnet is here another magnet is here it will get attracted if a magnet is there on the top of the wire and bottom of the wire it will not experience any force or if a moving <coughs> if a moving charge is there in this direction it will experience force suppose if a moving charge is present here it is not going to experience any force so that means around the wire magnetic field is there and to find the direction of that magnetic field how you can find direction is you hold the conductor such that thumb points the direction of current and the curled fingers will give the direction of magnetic field so magnetic what what is the source of magnetic field current carrying conductor is the source of the magnetic field and uh, the and the direction of magnetic field will be always uh, always perpendicular to the plane containing the wire and uh, for that uh, there is one rule called right hand rule you can hold the conductors in such a way that uh, current is pointing towards the direction of thumb and the curled fingers will give the direction of magnetic field so fingers are curling in this direction this is the direction of magnetic field that means at this point magnetic field is towards you at this point magnetic field is in this direction at this point magnetic field in this direction at this point in this direction to know this uh, that they are concentric circles uh, there is one experiment given in our textbook you will take a wire which is having current into the direction of board this into symbol indicates wire is present on the perpendicular to the board and current is entering into the board now we can take a, <coughs> you can take a compass needle which is having north pole and south pole the path followed by the north pole around this wire will give the direction of magnetic field lines so it will, will get a concentric circle you can take a compass needle if you keep here it will deflect in this direction if you keep it will deflect in this direction if you are keeping it will deflect in this direction suppose if a wire is present perpendicular to the board plane of the board and current is going out of the board here a wire is present perpendicular to the plane of the board like this and current is going out of the board current is coming towards you when current is coming towards you what is the direction of magnetic field towards the north side of the conductor means top of the board i will take north bottom is south right side is east left side is west now you hold this wire such that thumb points the direction of magnetic field so this is the direction of current sir thumb points the direction of current like this then curled fingers are moving in this direction therefore magnetic field will be around the wire in this direction if i want to calculate direction of magnetic field towards north it is in this direction 
direction of magnetic field towards west it is in this direction towards north it is pointing towards west towards west it is pointing towards south and towards south it is pointing towards east and at east it is pointing towards north this is the direction of magnetic field so what is the so we have completed introduction of this topic and what is magnetic force magnetic force is a force which deflects a moving charge it which deflects a moving charge or which changes the direction of a moving charge or force divided by pole strength is also called magnetic field and next what are the sources for magnetic field the source is current carrying wire moving charges are the sources for magnetic field and next what we can study is the magnetic field and lorentz force so <coughs> when there is a moving charge so already we know when there is a moving charge let us assume a magnetic field is into the plane of the board magnetic field is into the plane of the board that means a magnetic field is applied in this direction now i kept a stationary charge i kept a stationary charge this stationary charge will not experience any force if i project this stationary charge with velocity v then it starts experiencing force that means force experienced by this charge is directly proportional to velocity directly proportional to velocity and force experienced by the charge is directly proportional to the strength of the charge if i increase strength of the charge force experience is more this is found experimentally and if i change magnetic field strength if magnetic field strength is more force experience is more and if i project a charge particle parallel to the field parallel to the field if velocity is parallel to v then there is no force from these observations i can write f is proportional to or f is equal to i can write q v b sin theta or you can write f bar is equal to q v bar cross b bar v bar cross b bar so this is the force experienced by a charged particle inside magnetic field so inside magnetic field this is the force experienced so v bar cross b bar is the direction of f bar this is the force experienced this is the magnetic force experienced by a moving charged particle suppose in the same direction if i give electric field i am giving electric field also if i give electric field also what happens it will experience force due to electricity also because a charge whether it is moving or it is static it always if when you apply electric field if you leave that charge that charge will move in the direction of electric field and it will experience a force is equal to qe therefore force due to electric field <coughs> force due to electric field is equal to q into e bar q into e bar is the force due to electric field now what is the net force f net is equal to f net is equal to f b bar plus f e bar magnetic force due to magnetic field and electric field and this is in the direction of applied electric field now this formula is called lorentz force formula force of lorentz lorentz force now let us see the motion of a charged particle in combined electric field motion of a charged particle we will see in a combined electric field before that we have to see the force on a current carrying conductor so force on a moving charge you got qvb qvb sin theta now we have to calculate force on a current carrying conductor suppose there is a current carrying conductor like this there is a current carrying conductor which is carrying current in this direction next we are doing force on a current carrying conductor this is force on a moving charge when a moving charge is moving in a magnetic field this is the force now force on current carrying conductor force or f on wire current carrying wire f on wire this is current carrying wire there is a wire which is carrying current i in this direction now this wire if i keep in a magnetic field what happens it will experience force this wire will experience force in which direction it will experience force that we will get from left hand rule but we have to calculate what is the force experience 
So let us consider there are n number of electrons per unit volume. Here n is the number of electrons, uh, number of uh, charged particles, n by v. <coughs> now force is equal to it contains number of charged particles, so net force will be equal to capital N into Q V B sin theta. Okay, capital N into Q V B sin theta. Now what we can do capital N, I can write N A L number of charge particle per unit volume, volume is area into length into V D drift velocity because what is the velocity electrons will get inside drift velocity into B sin theta. <coughs> now there is a formula for drift velocity, drift velocity is equal to I by N A E where E is the charge, here we can take electron charge. So I by N A E is drift velocity, write drift velocity as I by N A E, substitute drift velocity, N A L into, in place of drift velocity I am writing I by N A E, I by N A E into B sin theta into E, where E is the charge of electron, here I write in Q, here I am writing E. So E, E will get cancelled. N A will get cancelled and uh, it is nothing but uh, B I L sin theta, B I L sin theta. This is the force experienced by the conductor, <coughs> force experienced by the conductor. Now, in which direction it experiences force? That is given by left hand rule left and rule, left and rule, given by left hand rule. Left hand rule is you stretch your left hand such that thumb, forefinger and middle finger are perpendicular. Forefinger should be pointed towards force, should be pointed towards sir, field four finger is pointed towards field and central finger or central finger, central finger, central finger is pointed towards current, then thumb gives the thumb. then thumb gives the motion of the conductor, thumb gives motion of the conductor, motion of conductor. Motion of conductor. In this case, let us apply this formula, uh, this uh, equation, field is inside, current is upwards. So, this wire will get deflected in this direction wire will get deflected in this direction. Same thing we can apply, same, same rule we can apply for this also, same rule we can apply for this also. Suppose there is one question in your NCRT textbook, example question, if electron is projected along x axis, if a charge particle, if it is positive charge we will do, otherwise if it is electron also we can do. If a electron is projected along x axis and Magnetic field is applied along y axis, magnetic field is applied along y axis, in which direction electron gets deflected. First we will calculate in which direction proton gets deflected, for that we can use this formula because direction of a positive charge is the direction of current. So electron is moving towards, uh, electron is moving towards in this, uh, in this direction means uh, the direction of current, so this is field, four finger is field, central finger should be the direction of current, four finger field, central finger is direction of current, proton will deflect in this direction, whereas electron will deflect opposite direction because this is force on positive charge. If you want to write force on negative charge, force on electron will be minus E into V bar cross B bar or this I can write it as E into 
B bar force on electron will be E into B bar cross B bar cross V bar. So, this is the difference. The proton will deflect in this direction, whereas electron will deflect in opposite direction. We can calculate force on proton or positive charge, then afterwards we can reverse. Or we can use the condition of V bar cross V bar. V bar cross V bar. V bar cross V bar is equal. This is there in cross product in your first year. Direction of the vector in cross product. V bar cross V bar in this direction. Suppose you are doing B bar cross V bar in this direction. For electron, you will get like this for negative charge particle. So, this is the force experience. So, what we have studied here? Introduction we have finished. What is the introduction of this? How we got the origin of magnetic field? And next, what are the sources? Sources are current carrying conductors. And what is the Lorentz force? And what is the magnetic force on a current carrying conductor? Magnetic force on a current carrying conductor is BIL sin theta. And next, we have seen left hand rule. We current carrying conductor, magnetic field we know, but direction we can calculate by using left hand rule. And next will be motion of a charged particle in magnetic field motion of a charged particle in magnetic field so observe carefully apply left hand rule then you will get to understand how this charged particle will move let us take a, a magnetic field into the plane of the board let us take the magnetic field into the plane of the board i projected one positive charge of certain charge q in y axis like this. Now, in which direction it is going to deflect? In which direction it is going to deflect? That you have to see. This charge particle enter inside the magnetic field. When this charge particle enter inside the magnetic field, let us consider this charge particle is here. In which direction it experience force? This is the direction of velocity field is inside, you can observe here, field is inside, velocity is in this direction, velocity in this direction and this is the direction of force. So, force is this direction, when particle is here. Let us consider particle is here, field is inside, this is the direction of uh, current and uh, it is acting in this direction, this is the direction of force. Now, let us consider particle is here, you consider that particle is here you consider here particle is here this is the direction of v that is there v is nothing but direction of current so field inside field is inside this is the direction of current and you will get uh, force in this direction if you similarly if you calculate here force you are getting in this direction you can observe here at each and every point once this particle enters at each and every point force is perpendicular to velocity when force is perpendicular to velocity the particle will move in circular motion, it will complete a circle, it will move in circular motion. If we have seen in circular, <coughs> circular motion in first year also, velocity is always perpendicular, it is always tangential, it is there is some force acting towards the center, that force is nothing but centripetal force, that force is given by here QVV sin theta, therefore F is equal to and in which direction I projected magnetic field is into the plane of the board and this Q is in y axis, Q is in y axis, B is in z axis. Okay. So, when B is in z axis, Q is in y axis, what you are going to get? Theta will be 90, then F is equal to Q V B, that must be equal to M V square by R <coughs> and V square, V will get cancelled, R is equal to M V by Q B m v by q b again v is equal to r omega we can write v is equal to r omega v is equal to r omega if you are writing then we can calculate omega from that we can calculate omega v is equal to r omega if you write r is equal to m into r omega by q b R and R will get cancelled. Omega is equal to Q B by M and 2 pi n, 2 pi n into 2 pi n is value of omega frequency, frequency is Q B by M 
when n is equal to 1 by 2 m, 1 by 2 pi q b by m and 1 by frequency is time period 1 by t is equal to 1 by 2 pi q b by m then from this right time period time period is 2 pi m by q b and here this can also be written as m v is nothing but momentum p by q b and momentum is equal to under root of 2 m k e. So, p square by 2 m is equal to kinetic energy. So, p can be written as under root of 2 m k e. You can write here under root of 2 m k e and r can be written as under root of 2 m kinetic energy under root of 2 m k e divided by q b and kinetic energy if it is electrical kinetic energy we can write it as <coughs> q into potential difference r can be written as under root of 2 m q into potential difference divided by q b ok this is the condition this is and this frequency is called cyclotron frequency this frequency is called cyclotron frequency this frequency is called cyclotron frequency and uh, when I project this charged particle at perpendicular to magnetic field this is the condition. Suppose if a charged particle is not projected perpendicular to the magnetic field, but it has certain angle. Suppose if it is projected with certain angle what happens? If it is projected with certain angle, suppose instead of projecting straight if I project with certain angle v. v with an horizontal theta, then this will be v cos theta and this will be v sin theta. v sin theta will be perpendicular to v sin theta will be perpendicular here, v sin theta will be perpendicular to the magnetic field and v sin theta provides the component of velocity v sin theta provides necessary centripetal force whereas v cos theta pushes the charged particle forward that means this charged particle after entering the charged particle after entering it uh, complete circle it will complete circle like this complete circle and moves forward in this direction it completes the circle and moves forward completes one circle moves forward, complete circle moves forward, complete circle and moves forward. This is spiral path, it will move in a helical path or spiral path, helical path. Why? Because V cos theta is there to push that charged particle in forward direction. V sin theta makes it to rotate in a circle. So, two components of velocities are there, one is V cos theta, other one is V sin theta. V cos theta pushes the charged particle forward whereas V sin theta makes it to complete one circle that means complete one circle afterwards it will move forward, complete circle move forward. So, this uh, this distance between two helix is called pitch of the distance between two helix, this is one helix, this is another helix, this distance is called pitch of the path, pitch is equal to V cos theta into time period. Because within one time period only it is moving forward now. So, <coughs> one helix it will complete and moves forward one more helix moves forward spiral path like this. So, this is the motion of the charged particle in magnetic field and uh, one more thing <coughs> we can have one case we can go for velocity selection that is let us consider one case there is let us consider one case here where V is perpendicular to B and perpendicular to E. I am applying both fields here, both combined electric field and magnetic field I am applying. So, this is only when I applied magnetic field it is moving in a spherical path or it is moving in a circular path when I am project with 90 degrees. When I project with certain angle it is moving circular path and moving forward. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to 
apply both magnetic field as well as electric field. When I apply both magnetic field as well as electric field such that they are perpendicular to each other, then what happens? So, let us consider a magnetic field into the plane out of the board. This symbol is for out of the board. You can remember when I give the symbol into the condition is <coughs> magnetic field is entering like this into. When I give the symbol dot the magnetic field is coming towards you like this. So, these are the symbols because this chapter is totally three dimensional. So, everything we cannot draw on the board for that reason this symbol is there. This symbol indicates that magnetic field into the plane of the board that means I created <coughs> one magnetic field entering into the plane of the board. Now, this is the magnetic field entering out of the plane of the board. Now, let us consider I applied an electric field along y axis. I applied electric field along y axis. Now, I projected one electron, I projected one electron into this magnetic field in this direction. In this direction, I projected one electron, velocity is in this direction. Now, here electric field is there. So, according to Lorentz force, it should get electric force and magnetic field is there. So, it should experience Q V B also. Then let us find the directions of electric force and uh, magnetic force directions. Let us see the directions only. Electric field direction, electric force due to net force is equal to net force is equal to force due to magnetism plus force due to electricity. So, this is fixed and <coughs> force due to electricity is very simple. Always a positive charge, I am projecting a positive charge here. Always a positive charge experience force in the direction of electric field only. So, this is already fixed, this is the direction of electric field along y axis. Now, what is the direction of force due to magnetic field? For that you have to apply left hand rule again. See field is in this direction, current is in this direction, field is towards you, current is in this, current means the motion of the charged particle. Motion of the charged particle you can observe it is in this direction, field is towards you and this is the direction in which the charged particle gets deflected that is force is acting down. So, magnetic force is acting in this direction, force due to magnetism. Now, if these two are equal and opposite, suppose this is acting <coughs> along plus j, this is acting along minus j. Suppose, if these two are equal and opposite, F net is equal to what you will get? F net is equal to F m minus or F m difference of F e. Suppose, if these two are equal and opposite then what you will get net force is equal to 0. Then net force is equal to 0 means in which direction this charge particle will move? There is no magnetic force, there is no electric force. So, when force is not there the particle will not accelerate that means direction of its velocity will not change and the magnitude of its velocity also will not change. Then this charge particle will move undeflected, it is going to move in undeflected. So, it is moving undeflected. Therefore, net force is equal to 0. When net force is equal to 0, velocity of the particle is fixed and it is moving undeflected and this condition is called velocity selection. This condition is called velocity selection. Velocity selection. So, velocity selection how we will do? Let us write here. Q V B is equal to Q V B is equal to Q E then Q will get cancelled, we will get V is equal to E by B. When velocity, when you apply, when you apply the condition V is equal to E by B, the charge particle will be undeflected. So, this is about motion of the charge particle in a magnetic field. A charge particle in a magnetic field, if its velocity is not 0, it experiences force. When you project perpendicular to the velocity, perpendicular to magnetic field, it will moves in a circular path and if it is projected at an angle theta, it will complete circle and move forward. So, when it is moving in a circular path, necessary centripetal force is given by the force on it that is Q V B, we will get, uh, <coughs> we will get radius is equal to M V by Q B and this can also be written as P by Q B, can also be written as P by Q B and radius can uh, momentum can be written as 2 m ke by q b 
and uh, if it is kinetic energy is provided by electric field only charge into potential is equal to qb qb by qb this is the formula of radius and this is the frequency and this is also called cyclotron frequency this is also called cyclotron frequency and you can observe here frequency is independent of radius and time period is also independent of radius so this is about motion of the charge particle and this motion of the charge particle as an application in a instrument called cyclotron that cyclotron we will see in our next video thank you for joining me please subscribe my channel if you have anything to comment please leave in the comment section